Hey guys, what's up Leo? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So slip it how you need to. Also remember it's a general reading. So just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also if you also if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. You have the power to manifest whatever it is that you want, but there's something there that I don't know, there's either some hesitancy or you're just not going towards it. Um, for whatever reason, cancer energy. Maybe you're not interested. Maybe I hope you know that you can manifest whatever it is that you're trying. Very powerful manifester. All right, there's that four of cups. So I guess we'll figure it out. Media future for Leo, please. Oh my goodness. All right, well, what this is, I already shuffled these. Um, but I, oh, okay. I, oh, shit. That's cool. I shuffle these so we're not sitting here watching me shuffle. A couple of things I got to tell you. This is second chances. This was missed and now somebody's going to try to work their ass off. But I guarantee you this is somebody who you possibly knew before. Um, the devil, the ace of wands. This is some type of temptation, right? Whether this is a person or whatever, this is a situation that kept you going in some type of loop. And it looks like that cycle, Scorpio energy, it kind of got broke. But <clears throat> anyways, this is second chances. Like I said, somebody's going to work their ass off. This is the cool part. Um, you have moon and cancer and new moon, which is Tuesday at like 7.53 a.m. Angus Eastern time. But anyways, spend time with family or helping others. Avoid situations that can be a drain on your emotions. The time is right for seeking new opportunities. So you have the Ace of Cups in the middle of it all. This is love. Whether it's something that's brand new, something that you just have a person, a thing, whatever that you have a lot of love for. But somebody didn't go towards that. And it could have been because there was some type of temptation. So now somebody, it looks like, is going to try to act on that. We'll see. Show me this Four of Cups. So this is Cancer Energy. We're in Cancer Season. So the lovers could be dealing with the Gemini, sometimes with that lovers, and I see the devil down there again, a couple of, oh shit, something came in between here. There's a third energy, whether that's work, I mean, whatever it is, something intervened. And with the lovers there, there's always that third energy that can come in between, but this is a whole lot of kind of clarification of that. Show me that um, there's a very strong bond here, though, and somebody... For whatever reason, didn't go towards it. Maybe the opportunity was missed. Sometimes with that that four of cups, yeah, see the devil. You may have focused on yourself, your money. Somebody took a long time to like get where they're at now financially. Yeah, see, you're doing your damn thing. It's kind of like single and ready to mingle. Maybe it took you a lot, a lot a while to get back out here. However, it goes, but there may become, there may be one situation here that you just weren't interested in. Maybe you got fed up with it. There is some type of like obsessive energy there. Why the devil? I'm gonna, hold on. Um, show me the devil. The wheel. All right, look with the um with the devil and the lovers. You can see in both of these cards. Remember, I said the lovers. There's always that third energy. So you got the two lovers here, the third energy, which is the angel over here, and then you got it again. And in this case, it's the devil, which is the fallen. Angel. So you know something may have just become toxic. You give your patterns repeating, but that's that. Show me this ace. Oh, show me this ace of cups, please. 
Yeah, you got some type of communication coming in. It could be, oh, you got some like stalking. You could have two energies here. Maybe you got a choice. The Page of Swords and the Page of Cups could have a water and an air sign. But you got a stalker. And it, oh, you do have feelings for you. This is more like a secret admirer. Now, for some, it could be an ex. And you just ain't paying them no mind anymore. But for some, this is more like a stalker, seeker, admirer. Could be an age difference. Tell me about that page of swords. The Queen of Pentacles. It could be an earth sign. And like somebody who just is, really doesn't want to let the situation. Yeah, see? They're obsessed. They really don't want to let this go. They're watching you like crazy. And with the Queen of Wands, it's very possible that there's more than one person after you. Wanting your time, your attention, that type of thing. Show me the Ten of Wands, please. The Death card. Uh oh. Show me that Death card. The Death card and the Queen of Swords. That's what they're going to get met with. All right, so um, <clears throat> you're really worth it's, it's it's cool because the death card is associated with Pluto, right? That's that's forgiveness, that's release. So when we started with the devil and then we're ending with that release, that's cool. But um, that that's awesome. But then we have this Queen of Swords, which is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Queen of Swords is a little bit more, especially compared to the energy over here, like no bullshit type energy. Takes no bullshit. Give me one more for the outcome for Leo, please. Okay, that's way too many. The Nine of Swords, the Six of Cups. I mean, this is still here in your energy. It looks like somebody's doing a lot of daydreaming, a lot of fantasizing. I do think there's some type of unexpected communication, but um, somebody here, whether this is you or the other person, it looks like it's really working hard to change things, to break old cycles. So the logical side of things kicks in. Guards go up. The worry starts. Um, not heavy, heavy, but kind of just more so defensive towards the situation. The love is there. It does look like somebody wants to either apologize, this King of Wands. For some, mm -hmm. the King of Wands, um, you know, in some situations, it, it can be, um, because we have the King and the Queen of Wands, so... There could be a married couple, but it doesn't have to be the Queen King of Wands and the Queen of Wands both can have you know um people drawn to them. King of Wands is coming off as as the at the outcome is more of like a cocky attitude. But there's a lot of love around this. I shouldn't say cocky, more swag. Because this person is definitely hooked on you. And it does look like there's some type of communication, somebody clearing some things up. <coughs> the Knight of Wands, that's still player energy. <coughs> Alright, Leo, I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.